Hi everybody, it's Heather Parrott, Independent Demonstrator in Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, today I'm going to make a card with uh, Don't Stop Believing. Uh, I had a request for a Christmas card with the Santa. And I didn't have the stamp set, so my upline was gracious enough to loan me her set so I could make a card. Um, thank you, Diana Nicholson. It is greatly appreciated. So, I have my pieces ready to go. Um, I have a card base which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Um, the person requested that the inside of the card um, said dad, so I just printed, I don't have a dad stamp, so I just uh, took a piece of paper, printed it off my printer, and then cut it out with a stitch rectangle. So that's gonna go on the inside of my card. I have a piece of Whisper White, which is four by five and a quarter. A piece of DSP from the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. This is 3.75 by five. I have a piece of Pear Pizzazz. This is two by five. Another piece of paper from the Heartwarming Hugs. This is 1.75 by five. And then Whisper White out of the Hippo and Friends label dies. I cut out a stitched label. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to bring in a piece of copy paper. And I'm going to grab my die that I cut out. My Memento ink. And then I just mounted the Santa Claus. Stamp him on my label. Let me try to get him centered. And because I don't own this stamp set, I'm going to clean it right away. Okay. Okay, so I have some Copic, well, I have some Copic markers because I don't have the blends and the colors that I want to use. And where this is, uh, a customer request um, I want to use like a skin tone which I don't have in the blends um, I do have another Stampin' Up! order coming just haven't gotten it yet so I have uh, blush cool gray I have the th C3 C0 and then I have skin white and then I have real red and then I also have the light pool party. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna start coloring him in. So I'm gonna start with cool gray, the C0, because it's a very, very light gray. And what I want to do is I'm just gonna lightly flick the light gray just along like the border of his hat and then I'm gonna move in and just leave the inside like a white and I'm gonna do the same thing with his pom-pom and then the cuff of his jacket I don't want that stark white but I thought it would look cool in the very 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 light gray and it will dry a little bit lighter and then I'm just gonna highlight his glove a little bit
and then his beard I'm going to do in the uh, same light gray because again I don't want it to be like a stark white and again I am no color expert I'm just doing what I think will look good Okay, now I'm going to take the little bit darker gray and I'm just going to do like some just to break it up a little bit. And then the rest I'm just going to leave white. Now I'm going to take the skin color and I'm going to color in his face. And then his glasses, I thought I would do like in the light pool party. And then this little blush color, I thought I would give him like some rosy cheeks. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my light real red and I'm going to color his hat and his jacket and I'm going to color it all all in the light real red and then I'll go over it with some dark in different areas And while I have the stamp set, I might make a couple of extra cards. I have another craft show coming up on Sunday. Because I think he does look pretty, pretty cool. I struggle sometimes trying to stay inside the lines so I'm just taking my time being careful craft show Sunday just yesterday Sunday yeah yesterday and it was so slow like I really think this virus is just slowing everything right down by the time I paid my 
table fee. I only made like $33, so it's a little disappointing. But I'm going to keep plugging away at it because whatever I make at my shows, that's what I'm going to use to buy stuff in the new upcoming January catalog. So I'm looking forward to that. From what I hear from the demonstrators that took part in the on stage, that it's a really, really good catalog. So we shall see. So I'm just going to go back in with the light and just kind of blend that in. I think he looks pretty cool. And I like to do like little sections at a time. Blend it before it uh, has a chance to dry. And just keep working it. And I just need my color list because I colored a little bit of his cuff. We'll see. Red can be hard to um, get rid of, so we'll see. I just want to make it a little bit less noticeable. I'm going to take my Wink Estella and I'm going to color. Well, I'm not going to color. I'm going to add glitter to the brim of this hat. Oh, it's so pretty. I wish this would show up on camera. And his pom pom on his hat and the cuff of his jacket. And I don't think I want Wink Estella anywhere else other than those three places. There, isn't that cool? I think he looks pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to start gluing down all my pieces. Oh, I'm fighting a little bit of a headache today. It's I love, love, love this paper. I 
And then I think this, I kind of want over to the left side. Okay, so now I have a little piece of white here, and this is about half an inch high. And I'm gonna bring back my memento, and I'm gonna stamp, out of Snowman Seasons, I'm gonna stamp Merry Christmas. And I got, there's a little piece of hair or something, probably dog hair. So I'll have to flip it over and try it again on the other side. Well, I could have a fuzzy on my ink pad too. That's a little better. Okay. And I'm going to take. Where did my scissors run up to? Okay. I'm going to. Now I'm going to take my banner punch banners pick a punch I should say and I'm just gonna go in on this side just trim a little bit more off this end here. Okay. And I think I'm going to pop this up. bit of glue
right about there. And I think I'm going to pop this up too. And hopefully she likes this card. Okay. I don't think I'm going to add any ribbon or embellishments or anything. I mean, I want to add something, but I want it to be kind of subtle. So maybe I'll just add a couple of pearls. And I'm going to do all small. One, two, and oops. I think that one. There we go. Okay, so now I just have to add that to the inside. And I think. I have a scrap, scrap piece of red here somewhere. Oops. There. And hopefully she likes it. I think that looks pretty pretty cool. And like I said, the Wink of Stella probably doesn't show up. Thank you for watching everybody. Have a wonderful day. Bye.